Greetings, chess enthusiasts. My name is Jeffrey Baffo, the 4th of December 2020, new chess video. As always, my videos are geared towards the person who plays in-person chess tournaments. Um, online tournaments are fine. Uh, don't want to say anything against them, but there are too many factors that um, make it, um, how shall I say it, not a true test, uh, mano y mano. So if it's a one-on-one -on -one contest, it's you, me, sitting at a board playing chess uh, under tournament conditions. That's the true test of your chess ability and understanding. And that's what my videos are geared for. Today's video is uh, based on this article that I just wrote, uh, which I will send to most people who I vet as a legitimate person. I recently got burned sending an article to a person who really just wanted to spam me. Uh, so I'm not saying I'm going to send it to everybody, but if you check out uh, and you pass my vetting, I will send the article to you, no charge. Anyway, um, the, basically the conclusion of the article or the, the gist of the article is that a lot of chess players like myself uh, will not study end games, uh, not voluntarily. Uh, why is that? Um, when we uh, start our journey as chess players, we start to learn that when we analyze well, we have good results. When we analyze good, we have good results. When we analyze, analyze poorly, we get poor results. So we tend to believe that analysis is the key to everything. That if I just improve my analysis, everything will be fine. But at some point also, we learn that there's theory and uh, we readily accept that and even revel in the fact that we know our theory for our openings better than our opponents. But we don't, but players like myself stop when that realization and that effort to understand theory when it comes to the end game. Um, we tend not to reach end games. Uh, and when we do, if one of us hasn't resigned, there's no endgame theory. It's an overwhelming advantage for one person or the other, and only a blunder will change that result. So uh, the fact that endgames can be boring does not make them any less essential. So what one of the... <laughs> excuse me. A little bit of a dry throat. Uh, one of the things I think a person, a, a practical, ambitious tournament player should do is, is try to reach end games more often. If you uh, have the attitude of, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to come home in fame or go down in flame, then that's really kind of an immature, lazy attitude, which gives you license to just play sloppy. Um, you know, at some point, you have to be willing to accept that things are not going well. You're not going to be able to force through an attack. There are no brilliant counter strokes, and the best you can do is tough it out into an endgame and see what you can do. So once you drop the, the badge of honor, uh, you know, I'm an attacker kind of thing, uh, attitude, and you become more mature, you start getting into endgames more, you can learn the type of endgames that you get to. So it you're study becomes more limited just as you don't study every single opening you study the openings that you play you can start studying the types of end games that you reach uh the that's the first and second um points on my uh suggestions the third would be get yourself some end game resources uh, one of the resources i have and i use for my article was this book from, I think, 1993. There's another very good book, um, Silman's Endgame uh, Course. And uh, there's electronic sources for endgames as well. If you don't have those, get those. Uh, start studying them with the same enthusiasm that you study your openings and that you do tactical training. Um, and set goals. Uh, tr try to, if you don't understand building a bridge, uh, if you don't understand the trebuchet, if you don't understand um, 
things like the rule of the square, then, then set that as a goal. You know, for this week, I'm going to learn the trebuchet. What does that mean? Well, how does that happen? What kind of end games does that involve, et cetera, et cetera. So um, you can make end game study fun. You can make it practical and you'll start to reap the rewards for that. Thanks for your attention in this video. Have a great day.